What's going on guys, All Puzzle here, back at you with another video. Today we have Amazing Rare Kyogre Lost Zone Box. This is Peter Kika's uh, top 32 list from the most recent Orlando Regional Championships. Um, has very. This is one of the best performing uh, Lost Zone Box decks that actually played Crown Zenith cards. You see the Zamazenta and Sky Sealstone. Amazing Rare Kyogre hasn't seen a whole lot of play in Standard since being printed. It was banned in GLC because it is incredibly broken. But it's amazing surge attack. Does 80 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. And we do have that silly canceling cologne boss package in our decks. So we can gust up our opponent's Manaphy and use canceling cologne. And then do that whole 80 to all Pokemon and just kind of uh, set up our opponent's board, do it a ton of spread damage. Uh, this is especially great in the Lost Box Mirror when they're going to come phase and stabilize and a lot of weaker Pokemon in play. So I, I do think this is one of the probably the Lost Box deck that has the best uh, mirror match. Like short of just playing Ice Key Wash, which is sort of susceptible because quite a few Lost Boxes are playing one Temple now. And um, you definitely can play Temple instead of Training Court in this deck. I just prefer the consistency of Training Court. You don't face Ice Key on Ladder all that much. But if I were bringing it to a tournament, I'd probably play Temple over Training Court. Other than that, fairly standard gate. Um, Lost in Box, we have, we have the Raikou Sky Sealstone package to hopefully uptrade on Lugias. And we have the new Zamazenta for a big uh, one-shot respond attacker into the likes of Stoutland. Um, after this, there are going to be a few videos. If you have any questions, uh, please let me know down below, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. And as always, the PDCGO import will be below. And with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the battles. All right, getting into our first game here. We lost the coin flip. Um, so our opponent will, of course, go first. And our hand is not very good. We have to open a Ranguru, but we have no draw supporter. Probably have to capture for like Radiant Greninja or something. Uh, probably Lugia considering that opening hand. Oh, we hit a Chorus. <laughs> That's clutch. Uh, yeah, definitely Lugia after seeing that amazing Raikou. That amazing Raikou and Breach Bird Birdkeeper. You can pretty much tell that that's Lugia. So there's an Incense. <laughs> Lugia always seems to have um, uh, Archeops. Double Archeop to Ultra Ball when you play against it on ladder, but when you play Lugia yourself, you never draw Archeops. It's not a theory, it's a fact. <laughs> I'm just kidding, of course, but they will Quick Ball, add an Archeops, and grab a Lugia, so they are definitely setting up very well. I would de Amazing Raikou is a pretty scary attacker in this matchup, so I would really like to take a Cramor and knock out on it this turn. So, let's see, they did play Capture on the Lugia, and you get an Oranguru. So, yeah, this is going to be up on Wednesday, I think. I'm, yeah, I'm re recording this on, on Tuesday. So, are there any other um, Orlando Regional Championship uh, deck lists that you guys like to see? Uh, I'm, or just any deck in general? I'm, I'm not going to say I'm running out of ideas, but it certainly, it certainly uh, gets difficult to come up with a new deck to make every single day when you're uploading, when you've uploaded a video for almost, getting, getting close to four weeks now so any um deck lists deck guides uh, gameplay videos that you'd like to see i do have a um, gameplay video of control coming out here th this weekend that i'm working on currently and i do have i, I plan to make a top 10 video um pre-ocic probably sometime next week but i could get it out this weekend we're getting pretty close to having that we have this bit, but I really want to take out this Raikou, so I'm going to get down the main the Greninja, and I can seal cards and hopefully find like a net or a cart. No, so all up the Alrang Guru, so hopefully he can get us, and he gets us a switch card, so we can take this this Raikou. We had the, the, the rope, so we always could hit, but I wanted to take out this Raikou really badly. But as I was saying, if you have any sort of content you want to see on the channel, please let me know down, down below. Um, it doesn't have to necessarily even be uh, gameplay, it can just be, um, it could be like a guide or how-to video, like how to deck build or uh, proper tournament etiquette or things like that. They're definitely on, on my radar, but I wasn't sure what kind of demand if you guys would be interested in, in that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, just let me know. It can be just anything Pokemon TCG related, and I can probably do it. So they're going to be going for the Summoning Star, they got both their Archeops down. So we definitely want to respond into this with our Raikou. We discarded him turn one, which I think was sort of a misplay on my part. But uh, yeah, I think I, think I should have held it. 
But I think this is okay still. We we can like rod capture and get him back out. We just have to be able to like find a chorus and be able to get seven into the lost zone. So we're gonna get Tempest dived probably. Um so yeah. We're oh, we just need to find a chorus and be able to gate. And I think if we can take that bigger spawn knockout with the uh, Raiko, we'll, we'll be up two to oh there's a down spark. Okay, so no go on the Raiko. Maybe we can save light this turn or get ready Greninja. Already lost zone one gate, so we kinda of have to be careful. Kyogre can be okay in this matchup as well because we can Kyogre once and then like Radiant Greninja or even like Kyogre and Zigzagoon, Zigzagoon Net and then uh, and then lost my KO both Archeops. So I will take the net over the, the Switch cart. We're up to five in the lost zone. We're up to six with this Comfey. Take the Psychic over, over the Capture. I'll bench the Comfey. I'll play it in an Escape Rope. And try. We're, we're up to seven now. Uh, we don't really have any. Okay. And flower selecting. And we did not find a chorus. We must attach this capture to the active. Find that Cramorant. For all point wisdom. The a Mirage get on top in case of a Marnie. And I'll spit into this Orange Guru. We can clean him up later with a Lost Mine or a Zig Zigzagoon Ping. So. Definitely don't necessarily mind it's too much healing into the Orion Guru. At least we got damage down this turn. Because we even if we do take three prizes with the Raikou, we we can go like Orion Guru knockout, uh Sable Knock out the Dunsparce, and then close the game with a a lightning rondo. So I don't necessarily mind this bit. It, it plays into our prize map just fine. So they're gonna panel turbo, a DTE onto the Orion Guru, so they'll be able to retreat. And likely see a Tempest dive. A, du a double dip fangs would be a bit annoying, but we can then respond back with Zamazenta. So there's a quick ball. I might find the Stoutland. They don't even need a boss. If they can pile all four powerfuls on, they can one shot our Cramorants for two prizes. So might be seeing that here. Looks like it. Oh no, they're just gonna boss a Comfey. And they have no cards in hand. All right, so we definitely need to find this Zamazenta knockout. And that plays into our prize map just fine too, because now we can just go Zamazenta knockout and then Lugia knockout. Definitely I do not want to play that Sky Shield sent down. We almost misclicked there. We can get the Zamazenta. Uh, we have to we have to play a rod before we gate. Our Dragon Primate Wisdom and Metal back on top and then gate it back in there. Gate it back into play, I should say, so. Um, yeah, we don't even need to spend a rod this turn. Uh, that's I never like those recycler or energy choices. That's always sort of annoying. I probably should have concealed cards before the Comfey. But oh well. Oh, we'll be able to retaliate for the knockout. We'll tie it at three prizes. Uh, yeah, this is... Lugia is so tough because even in these single prize matchups, you still almost have to draw perfectly to be able to win the game. Because if he's smart, he won't even attack with Lugia again this game. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense because he, he it's probably safe to assume that I play Sky Seal. Oh, maybe he's gonna type with Lugia. I definitely think it's not the correct play, like a type of Radiant Charizard, uh, Yveltal, anything over the Lugia here. Yeah. I do, I, I wanna mess around with some Thornton in a Lugia because the prospect of having two, two Stoutlands against the Lost Box, it seems so broken. We do see Tempest Dive here. Unfortunately, we can't Raikou to win the game because that that dumb spark. So Zigzagoon is a pretty cool top deck. Um, so we'll chorus and just take everything with the VIPs. The VIPs are of course worthless. So I will conceal cards out the lightning. Plus two. We're gonna have four cards in deck. I'll permit wisdom. Come fan on top and then just power selecting and loss on it. Just to thin that card out and guarantee that we always we, we never lost on a bad card. A bunch of Sableye, play that escape rope. And we can lost mine for two prizes. And then be set up to win on our final turn with a Sableye, because we can put Lost Mine. Yeah, I'll drop the Sky Sealant on the Guru, so we never redraw that card. But one of the Guru, six on the Dunsparce, and then the remaining five on a Archeops. Yeah, because then I can 
I can close I can put two on, on the on the other other Archeops. And then I can zigzagoon and ping in case he has like net or something, which I doubt that he has, but yeah, we're just a lost mine away from winning. There's definitely an argument to be made to putting four on the active one to close out with, with a Cramorant spit. But I don't think we're probably going to get that Arceus back in the active spot. He's probably going to uh, Luminion back into Lugia or Luminion into some sort of bulky thing that he hopes that we can one shot. But our deck, we thin out our deck so much, we're, just, we're not down to 10 cards that we can basically see our whole deck. Yeah, there's a Chorus top deck. So I don't want to rod before the, the Chorus and we just find the the Sableye and the Training Court, so that will be the game. I just needed Sableye, that was the only piece that I was missing because I had the Mirage Gate in hand. So we have both Court back to Sidekick, Nav the, the Comfey, and then Lost Mine for the game. And um, Okay, into our second game here, I accidentally um, recorded this one a bit late. We're against some sort of control deck, and they're just gonna go main as on the first turn. We see that Ice Cube Bench though, so we have to be careful of that. Unfortunately, we have the Lost Zone, the Oranguru, off our first, um, off our, our first flower selecting. We can Chorus, and this is not, we kind of want to keep all five of these cards, but I think we'll get rid of the Quick Ball and the VIP. I will capture energy for another Comfey. We will net the active, and then flower selecting once again. I will take the Chorus over a Sky Seal. Bench the Comfey, Bench Cramorant, and I will rope. And then we'll. Oh, he'll give us the, the Meltang knockout. I feel like my opponent's um, he's sort of overbenching early. Like, I mean, there, there's just really much of a reason to drop the Ice Cube early. I'm not playing Hand Disruption. Psychic Energy means Me to be Union, which is very frightening because we don't have a great one shot. We don't have a great way to one shot. So, right onto the Ice Cube, probably gonna find a Wash Energy. So that's very annoying. So, yeah. Yikes. So now we have to build like rope boss. We already spent one of our ropes. We need to find that other rope. We will, um, yeah, flower select, or chorus, excuse me, and take everything but the company and the VIP. And not too much else I really want to do. So I'll just spit for. 110. On to our opponent's turn, they'll open up with concealed cards. They definitely really need to take care of that ice cube, but maybe like a rope amazing or Kyogre play could be good for us. Um, I'm trying to, like, that's really our only way to, like, if we can save our nets and go zigzagoon net 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 after an amazing surge, we could potentially take the game, but if they get the solo ice cube, I think we can't win because I cut the temple. So if you're facing a lot of ice cues, you definitely can cut the temple or cut the court for a temple, but I don't really respect ice cue too much. I definitely feel like that could be, uh, I, I think at least for ladder, I think that's probably correct. But if you're bringing it to a tournament, I would not, and, and plan to have a deep run in the tournament, I would definitely play some sort of answered ice cue. But I, I feel like control decks will probably be prepared for the temple. Like, if they do slap a cape on the ice cube, you can't lost my throw the one shot. So, we're just gonna chorus, and I'm gonna take the cart and the two energies. Up to eight in the lost zone, I believe. We'll capture to the Comfey and grab that Kyogre. And since my opponent did not go for the block phase this turn, we can actually get that. At, amazing surge pressure onto the ice cube and take two prizes in the process and then go for that aforementioned zigzagoon double nut play so i'll go for the amazing surge take two prizes and most importantly put that 80 damage pressure on the ice cube which also just means we're like a rope away from being able to take this ice cube out so definitely i bet my man's not playing twins so that's why he sort of has to overbench the, the ice cube there but I just think that like decks like this, like me, me to be union, like you're just trying, it's just sort of trying so hard to cover all your bases, but it's just not very, not going to be very consistent in doing it. Like, yes, on paper, you're going to be able to beat every deck, but also like in practice, it's just going to be 
I mean, he's playing twin, but like in practice, he's not gonna be consistent enough to pull off to be able to um, consistently win you games. But I mean, this is the PDC Joe ladder. We're just having a good time playing amazing Kyogre. Okay, they nap Greninja, but then re bench him. So they're not gonna get the solo ice cube on us. Cape of Toughness is very annoying. We can't go for this because he's gonna triple net play. Now we have to rope, rope net pin. So there's a Pika Muku. Needs to be would be so scary if they were able to pull it off. There's a block face. I will call our quick ball at the VIP pass. And we will grab Sableye, I guess. There is a escape rope. We prize in it anyway, so we can't pull that play off. Uh so don't need I'll take the court net and psychic energy. Don't necessarily need capture or cologne very much. Uh, I really want to find that. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna net the Kyogre here. I don't want to. I don't want to lose it, and I still can attack with it potentially. I know it's it is kind of greedy, but I also just this is my safest bet to removing Ice Q. So I'm I need a net. Or I need yeah I need gate. And a switch. So I can't quite get there this turn. I got to eight cards in deck. I think this is probably correct though. I just don't want to. I don't want him to take that e easy prize on my Kyogre. And I w w sort of went aggressively to find that rope. That rope this turn. But also if my opponent pulls off the solo ice cube. I'm going to lose. So I sort of have to gamble in cases like this. And in this instance it did not pay off. But I still feel like it was a risk worth taking because if this Eileen like hits double heads, which it did not, you can find double net, and then my game is over to there's one net, so probably another one in hand, and this is likely not gonna end very well for us. So that's a conceal cards. But I, that was a gamble that we had to take, even though it's not likely to hit, we have to be able to, to clear this ice cube, or the game is just simply over for us. So even though it did not pay off, they set the union, so they're not going to go solo ice cube. Even though it did not pay off, we had to take that risk to win this game, so now we're not in a very good position. We're playing the Lux Raid too. Wow, this deck has everything. They now have the Snorlax, and then just block face. So we can go for Amazing Surge here. I'll prog the Comfey. There's a Mirage Gate, and watch it. This Flower Selecting is going to find um, es Escape Rope. I'm guaranteeing it. Okay, no. <laughs> so we will then we we can ping, we touch a water, and then now the active bench the comfy boss up. Uh, I think I probably should pick the Reninja. And then no, 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 this is right. Because if I boss up the Greninja, they have an extra turn to attach to the Mewtwo. And either way, I I don't think it really matters that much, honestly. Maybe the Grinjo is slightly more optimal, but I don't think it honestly matters that much. So I'm going to pull off two amazing surges regardless. Did, did, using the net over the cart might have been a little suboptimal because now I can't go Zig Zigzagoon paying Zamazenta for the knockout. So probably should have done that a little bit differently. Uh, but that's okay. We're still we're still doing all right. There's a concealed card. Hoping for no Raihan this turn. Raihan would be pretty bad for us. And they get like Raihan Sight Explosion. Yeah, that'd be pretty tough. There's a capture energy. Yeah, just failing. They can't they don't want to drop anything else. They want to force me to go through this Union. Parasol does not matter. And then they'll be they'll union gain. Set up that Mewtwo, so. There's Zamazenta. It's a met oh, court back to the metal. I'll put the water in Cramorant just as the pivot, because this is sort of my my blueprint here. They're gonna use uh, they're gonna use super regeneration this turn, so then I'm gonna cart back into to Cramorant and spit, and then they're gonna underestimate my <clears throat> they're gonna underestimate my deck, and then go for a size explosion, um, not re respecting me to be able to one shot back, and then I'll be able to Zamazenta him back for the knockout. Like that's sort of the my, my win condition I have in mind here. So attach another energy. Oh man, Hyper Potion would be so nasty if they had it. But yeah, there's a super generation like we predicted. 
there's our other rope. So then I'm going to switch cart back into my, my Cramorant and then just spit for 110. And now if he Psy Explosions, we win the game. Hopefully this goes according to plan here. And yep, Psy Explosion. So we'll be able to take this game as long as he takes a prize. Actually, it would be sort of smart for him to just Psy Explosion and not take any prizes. And then just um, try to take five prizes or to, to completely clear my board all in one turn. Because he has to suspect me playing Zamazenta. That's not the case though. So we'll be able to take this game. Just kind of had to finesse it a little bit. But we we got there. We have... Well, yeah, we card back into the Kyogre. Brent to Zamazenta. Hard retreat so we can get a medal on this card pile. Play the Ordinary Rod. Just need to get a medal and a water back in the deck. And then we can Mirage Gate. We had a medal in, in, in there anyway. But yeah, let's attach another energy. And retaliate for the knockout. And that'll be a good game. It's a very tough matchup. Alright, guys, thank you for watching. This has been Amazing Rare Kyogre Lost Zone Box. Uh, this list is pretty cool. I don't think it's probably the most consistent way or best way to play Lost Zone Box. I still think that's Rayquaza, in my opinion. But it's definitely probably the most fun way with the whole Kyogre Wombo combo. It's it's definitely pretty fun. I recommend you pick this one up. It, it, it is a, a pretty good power level, and you. I don't think you have any super bad matchups. You, as I mentioned a couple of times during the gameplay, Temple of Sinnoh could be a worthwhile add if you're having trouble with, with Ice Q. So um, as always, the PTC Joe import will be below. Um, if you have any comments, suggestions, uh, please let me know down below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. And yeah, I don't think I have anything else to add. This is just <laughs> uh, a nice fun couple of games with the old Kyogre. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll catch you in the next one.